Now in 2024, OPEC, the international group of oil producers, will no longer have a key member. Angola said it would leave OPEC, arguing that the group does not serve its interests. Oil prices fell by nearly 2% after the announcement, damaging OPEC's efforts to cut output and boost prices. And just last month, Angola had opposed OPEC's decision to cut its production quota for 2024. And that could have curtailed the country's ability to increase its annual oil production. The oil minister said, and I quote, Angola currently gains nothing by remaining in the organization and in defense of its interest decided to leave. Now, Angola, which joined OPEC in 2007, produces about 1.1 million barrels of oil per day. And that's about 4% of OPEC's total output of 28 million barrels per day. But it has struggled to produce enough oil to meet its quota since 2019. And Angola has, in fact, been unable to reverse falling output since 2008. Oil and gas account for around 90% of Angola's exports, but the government is seeking to diversify its exports after facing COVID-era losses.